the uses of evolutionary psychology. As the name implies, the theory of evolutionary psychology assumes that it emerged to fulfill a set of biological functions within our species. We can now look at the sorts of benefits that have been claimed in this area. Firstly, the deeply rooted conviction that our behavior and the behavior of others is driven by conscious mental states such as fear, anger, desire, etc., provides a context within which we can a. reflect on and comprehend our own behavior and b. try to predict and respond to the behavior of others. A byproduct of this, as Nicholas Humphrey has suggested, is that we can project our understanding of folk psychology onto other people and thus have a sense of and apparent insight into the mental and emotional lives of others. This provides an everyday solution to the philosophical problem of other minds. The relatively simple and familiar categories of folk psychology greatly assist everyday communication and understanding between human beings. This is sharply illustrated, as we shall see later on, if we try to replace folk psychological terminology with that of, for example, neuroscience. And in fact, if we did seriously abandon folk psychology, the probability is that we would become deeply alienated from the lived human world and fail to understand both ourselves and others. Finally, the terminology and categories of folk psychology are deeply embedded in our languages, attitudes and cultures. To take just two core examples, Shakespeare and the Bible are crammed full of folk psychological projections and analysis.